The United States Supreme Court overturned the Roe v. Wade of the last 50 years. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. And with all of that, it put Americans on alert, as it were, to test your knowledge, to test your understanding. A lot of people uh, got immediately emotional about it in the sense that this is, out of, this is illegal, this is wrong, this is... And all of the bantering and all of the rhetoric and all of the panic took place when finally, as the dust began to settle, you began to hear what really happened. Number one, what happened on January 22nd, 1973... For the last 50 years, legal analysts and schools of law have debated how unconstitutional the Roe v. Wade decision was in the first place. People don't realize that. That that particular court at that time made a decision that was unconstitutional. But because it was highly emotionally charged, and there was at the time a certain political a party in power, these things happen, you know. For the last 50 years, 64 million children were extracted from the womb of their mothers and murdered. And we need to remember that. The United States Supreme Court, they do not make law. So for people to say, we're going to kill Justice Kavanaugh, we're going to kill Clarence Thomas, for what? They literally upheld the Constitution of the United States. That is what is being attacked right now. You need to know that. You need to, listen, as a people, as Christians, we need to divorce ourselves from our emotions and know the fact. John Adams said, facts are stubborn things. Why? Because Ben Shapiro says, facts don't care about your feelings. That's absolutely true. And, um, the Constitution and our founding documents are all about life. The Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the Constitution shape this nation of who we are and who we're supposed to be. And when you see people angry at the justices, how could they do this? Listen, did you hear this? They need to go with the majority of what the people say. Did you know that's why we have a Supreme Court to not do that? Emotions are not to lead the day. The law is to lead the day. And if you don't like the law, you change the law, but you gotta go with the law until it is changed. But we live in a, a republic, and we need to remember that. Friday was a win for the Constitution. It was a win for your rights, everyone's rights. Everyone, including those who are pro-abortionists. The system worked. They may not like the outcome, but the system worked. We need to stop being emotional and stop having emotionally based theology. We need to be rooted and grounded in the Bible. We claim to be followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, which means we do what he says and what the Bible says and not what we feel about the moment.